Basically, you make sure the pedal is up here. Uh -huh. You press the uh, back um, brake mm -hmm. and you just bring it up. A bike that folds in half. People living in urban areas or metropolitan areas have smaller spaces where they live, where they work, and so on. They have to ride the subway, they have to uh, bring it into an elevator. It's built for the city. The bike is basically designed to be both electric and foldable. Meet G-Bike, an electric bike aimed at making urban travel easier. The bike has a pedalic assistance, uh, which means that it gives you assistance while you pedal. It will give you the ability to ride up to 40 miles uh, with, the, with the bike uh, with, a, with a speed limit of up to 15 miles per hour. 40 miles fully charged and there's no pedaling. G-Bike connects to your smartphone so users can map out their rides and this battery powered bike also charges your smartphone and auto locks. And once you step away 10 feet from your bike, it will automatically lock. Eric is one of three founders. They're all from Argentina, where the idea was born. We experienced a national strike that stopped public transportation from uh, moving along, um, basically taking independence out of the people. Right now, G-Bike is a prototype. The co-founders have launched a Kickstarter campaign to raise money. And they won't be cheap. The electric bike could sell for about $3,500. As cities get smarter and more connected, there's more competition. Another company has created a bike add-on called the Copenhagen Wheel. It turns any bike into a hybrid electric bike. I think that's going to be the next trend in terms of, uh, of technology, how you integrate technology into your daily life. Uh, how does this particular innovation play into the smart city concept? Well, you know, the, uh, as, as we said, you know, smart cities are, are uh, doing certain things to, um, to uh, make it more in innovative, such as you know, preventing cars from coming into the city, uh, allowing subways to be timed, um, and then designing the proper infrastructure for bicycles to, to be able to ride safe. Lori Siegel, CNN Money, New York.